Hey guys, Tim Stump from Technique Peak. Just want to go over the common misconception with teaching a ball squat, all right? So patient's going to come out here and Anthony's going to squat normally, all right? So show me show you normal squat. Good. Excellent. Back up and then down again. So hips are going back, knees right at the level of the toe, back up. Most problems with patients squatting is the knees hurt because they go excessively forward. So show us a knee dominant squat. Your knees go forward. So he's coming up onto his toes and his knees are going in front, which is gonna cause a lot of increased compression of the patella joint, hence pain. So one way that we do the ball squat, most, most therapists will show me the typical way to ball squat. So come into therapy, therapist says you lean up against the wall, balls behind your back, feet are out, go ahead, squat. So the therapist cures the issue with the knee being in front of the toe, right? Problem is you've created the equal problem on the back side of the knee joint. This long lever with the center of gravity is right here. So right in this greater trochanter, this is where it's body weight, the center of gravity. Huge lever arm, tremendous amount of pressure at the patellofemoral joint. Probably greater than it was the first way you did it. So I'm back up. So what, instead, how I teach this, and what I feel is more common and acceptable, is have your feet, instruct the patient at the feet right underneath the shoulders, the ball is here, they're leaning up against it. And I, my verbal cue is if I can push this ball away from you, you won't fall. Okay? So now you're going to drive your hips underneath the ball. And here we're just teaching using the ball as a proper way to squat back up. Just do a few. And if you look right here, he's holding it. I draw a center, a line right down the middle, middle of his body. The center of gravity is probably right about here. This shortens the lever arm tremendously, a lot less pressure on the patellofemoral joint. So this is a tool to teach the person the right way to squat. Once they achieve that, take the ball away and then have them go ahead and squat. Now naturally, Anthony's using his hands as a counterbalance, which is great. So if the person has a hard time transitioning up with the ball, they can use their hands out in front, but eventually to bring them to a traditional prisoner's squat. And this will prepare them to receive the barbell on their shoulders. Great for them. Excellent. Tim Stump from Technique Peak, thank you very much.